Hello and welcome. This is Vanessa Graulich, and today we're going to do a fun review about Coursera. Let's start. During the pandemic, like everyone else, this is incredible because this was like a worldwide phenomenon, freaking out, reading the news. It was just crazy. And I said, let me see what's going on around the internet. And I found Coursera. I went ahead and I got into this class. It took me almost a year. But it doesn't take that long if you are, you know, if you are very, basically a person that is all the time disciplined and doing it like, you know, if you put yourself into a schedule, it doesn't take a year. But it took me a year because life, I want to highly recommend it. And I'm just going to tell you um, what I learned. This is the one on financial markets. And when you get it, you also get a verification here on the bottom. Oh no, sorry. Here, you get like a verification on the bottom where it says verify at Coursera.org and then they, it has like a code. So most of the people that I have seen doing this are doing it for their job. Uh, they're doing it just to learn more, a little bit more about um, anything because honestly they have everything about financial markets, cryptocurrency, anything you can think of, Coursera has it. I have to say that I really enjoy it. The price depends on the class. Uh, sometimes they have free classes, like one right now, I got one on cryptocurrency and it was free, which I'll do the review after I finish it. But I'm going to tell you what I like about it is that you can put it in your app and you, on your phone and you can also have it on your computer and it's very friendly. So it's usually like videos, 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 and then you have a quiz. I have to say that I felt that um, it was easy for me to do it in the sense that it's, there's, it's not complicated. It's just basically like big buttons. I love it. Uh, uh, you know, very directional. You can come here, then you have to do this and that and that. And the, uh, I want to talk now specifically about this class. So this class is taught by Dr. Robert Schiller. I got huge, huge intellectual crush on this man. Uh, He's just incredible. He's so charismatic, so smart. He talks about economics, and I love when they ask him a question, and he just does like this little laugh, like, well, <laughs> you know. And he's just very honest when he talks about basically how irrational uh, we all behave. And I got the book too, Irrational Exuberance. It's a little bit heavy to read because it has a uh, very a small print as you can see here and it has a lot um, I think it's a really good book to read in pieces I don't see my but this is me I don't see myself reading the whole thing in one city because you have to do understand some technicality and I think you also have to read a little bit about history so for example when they talk about the oil crisis and bubbles these are things that I have to read more about it. And I want to also read it and, you know, share on the podcast because I feel it's important to understand history in order to do better for the future. So let's talk about financial markets taught by uh, Dr. Robert Schiller. So the class is seven weeks. And I'm going to tell you some of the topics by week so you kind of have an idea what we learn on financial markets. Now, my background is on finance, and I love finance. I have, um, I, I have to say that I love math, I love Excel, regression. So, and I have, done, I have been a professional tutor for masters, and uh, you know, anyone that has been anything with math, but especially in finance, I love it. So taking this class was a really nice refresh for me, because I feel like if you're someone that is into finance, then this is a good class to take. If you're brand new into financial markets, I have to say that you can take the class, but it might be a little bit difficult sometimes to follow up on, for example, terms like beta, covariance, and understanding things that maybe if you don't understand the math behind, they might be a little bit confusing, but doesn't mean that they're hard to do. You can go ahead and Google, refresh, find some tutorials, and then, the lesson will, I mean, you can do it without knowing the concept, but once you know the concepts and then Dr. Robert Schiller explains it with the examples, then I feel like everything just connects. And that's what I really enjoy about this class, that this man breathed economics and he won a Nobel Prize. Let me read it here. 
Robert J. Schiller, the recipient of the 2013 Nobel Prize in Economics. He is a best-selling author, a regular contributor to the Economic View column of the New York Times, and a professor of economics at Yale University. So there you go. <laughs> this is basically the person teaching the class. I felt it was incredible to have access to someone like Dr. Schiller just for $50. That's how much the class is. Now, you don't have to pay if you don't want the certificate. I think like you can just take the class without the certification, but you, if you do the class and you do the certification, you have to do the quizzes, the essay, you have to also review other uh, peers' essays. So let's talk about what is on week one. So the, week, the first week is just the introduction. They talk about basically covariance, the CAM model, beta, how to calculate the optimal uh, portfolio. On week two, and I'm just gonna be very brief, there are seven weeks, but you kind of have an, like an idea of what you're gonna be learning on financial markets. On week two, we talk about, well, no, no we, they talk about inflation, liability, forecasting, logical fallacies, the brain, because Dr. Chiller uses a lot of uh, psychology and economics on, on this. And then uh, magical thinking and personality disorders. You will be like, what? Personality disorders in a financial market? One of the most important <laughs> videos to, to watch. Week three, bonds, compound, discounting. Week four, he talks about bubbles, mortgages, PMI, regulations, the one on regulations trading. What I like about Dr. Chiller is that when he's giving the class, he has a lot of uh, history background too. And I, I have to say when he was speaking about the oil crisis in Venezuela, he, he was pretty good about it. So he seems to read and understand also, obviously he won a Nobel Prize, but it seems like it's very natural to him basically just to you know, see other economies, no? specifically to the United States and understand foreign policy. I, I really enjoyed that about him. Week number five, forwards, futures, contract, all futures, option pricings, Put call the party the par uh, put call parity. I cannot say that word correctly. So you can see here that he discusses basically. So what it is is the video, and he they cut the videos like maybe like four to like it ranges between four to seven minutes. They're not really that long, and then they go in little pieces. Then from there, I think there are eighteen quizzes. You take a quiz based on the lectures, and then on week four. I had to do an essay, which I'm sharing on, um, in the link, if you want to read it, about adequate, adequate housing. You have to read an essay, which I also put in the link uh, down below, about basically how can we achieve financial ad adequate uh, housing in the world, basically not treat financial markets as a commodity, but more basically put more like the humanity, right? Not treat this more like so capitalist. And Dr. Chiller makes these comments uh, and he's, he, the, the class is centrated in the quantitative, subjective, objective part of financial markets. But I really enjoy that they also added a part of adequate housing because it's very important that we will never go through what we went through 2008, especially after COVID. Then week number six, on the writing process. I love this one. Mutual funds, ETFs, what is a broker? What is a dealer? Government debt. And then on week seven, which I have to say week seven, the last, uh, the final videos are the best. Nonprofits, cooperative. And he has one that is called about wealth and um, poverty. And that was actually one of my favorite ones because he discussed risk management. And he, uh, he concludes how important risk management is for all of us to really understand because if the government could, could basically say, if I come, if I, let's say you have a little town and this is how he explains it. You have a little town and then this big corporation comes and they say, we're gonna go ahead and start producing whatever it is, oil or whatever. They wanna do like, you know, like, like a service that the community needs and they start doing this, and then you start building up an economy around that town, the problem is that the government and you know, everyone has to do what is called a risk management to say, well, what's gonna happen once you build up an economy? Like for example, when you have like the oil and the mining companies, and then they, then they just leave, and basically the whole town 
dies on poverty because they just basically had just one resource, right? That they were just basically exploding and then with these companies just leave, then this town is just basically just like a body without a heart. And that's basically one of the problems why then we have a lot of inequality and he just does an incredible job explaining it. I hope, I think I can share that video. So I hope you can watch it because honestly, he explains so much better than I do. I recommend you, uh, this is my book that I have used for many years for my students. I, I went to school with it. This is a really old edition and yeah, use book. And this book is a little bit, if you're like someone that is just starting to basically read about finance, it's a good way to start just to understanding um, what are assets, liabilities, equity. Once you get the knowledge, and the vocabulary, then when you see financial markets, you kind of like enjoy reading about them and you don't stress about, of course I stress about inflation, but then you kind of say like, I understand why we're getting inflation. So I just felt that it was necessary for me to do this uh, review because I, I did see a lot of value on the Coursera class on financial markets. I think Dr. Chiller is an incredible educator and obviously he won a Nobel Prize and I can see why. So I hope you enjoyed this mini um, review about Coursera and I'll see you soon. Have a math day.